Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Tiny Keep. When we were last left off, fire! Now that we have witnessed the spectacle that is fire, we shall move on to floor three. Floor three, I think, is the last floor that has this uh, design motif around it. We will, in fact, enter a second area afterwards, and I've not got past the second area. I think it's like floor six I've actually ever got to. Never got past floor six. Time your sword swings. That's actually a good tip, because some people can also block. We'll meet those soon enough. Generating the level. We might want to save some of our money, but at the same time, quick buffs are usually pretty useful immediately. A bone of contention. Definitely not foreshadowing there. Totally foreshadowing. Also, notice the colored gems on the doors. This is actually the introduction to keys as well. And a note. There's some sort of weird colored doors up ahead. Just imagine, behind one of those lies the exit. Hmm. Why wouldn't give to feel the sun on my skin and eat fresh bread crusts again? To be fair, while we're traveling through here, I'm eating whole chickens and dinners. So, uh, just bread crusts? Not thinking, uh, adventurously? I have no idea what this cauldron does, by the way. Absolutely none. It's full of a green corrosive liquid. Can I jump in it? No. At least I don't think I can. Hello! There are two of these. Gonna get hit regardless. So I need to minimize the damage. There you go. Nice and minimized. We want to clear this floor as much as we can before we actually... Uh... Ah! This chest is special because it doesn't just have loot in it. It actually has one of the scepters. The scepters that we are... Oh. You were chasing me. Then you died. How unfortunate. Ah, you're chasing me, though. The scepters we can use to unlock um, the doors coloured with that gem. Only for this level. Like Doom, key cards and skull keys only work for that particular door. Like that one. Can't open it. There's a lot of cool stuff in there, though. We'll be back. Ah, we can't open this one either. We'll be back that way, too. No levels are unwinnable in terms of uh, key placement. I will be able to access a door that will let me get another key that will let me continue. I just need to find that door. Hello! Yeah, your arrows aren't very good anymore, I'm afraid. Not after I got myself a sword and shield. There is actually an achievement for doing this uh, without a shield. I've no idea how one would do this. Also, there's the ominous room of ominousness. I'm not sure I want to go into that ominous room. But here is a door we can open. It doesn't have very much in it. At all. But this one will probably have... Yep. You see there? A green scepter. And on the map, we've helpfully marked out uh, which doors um, require the green and the uh, purple and the blue scepters. So there is a green door nearby. Is there someone we can free? Oh, there's a dead person. He seems pretty important. He also seems pretty dead. Oh! Okay, I did not actually know you could do that. You can hit the dead guy and get gold. Oh, I can't escape. I wonder why. Could it be that ominous skull thing of ominousness? It is. Oh, who's after me? Ow! Did you shoot me with that arrow? You have to be observant. If you're not observant, you could end up dead. And I should not have drunk that. I've said that already on this playthrough. We'll be saying it again before the end. Okay. I need to head to this green room now. The green room has the way to progress. And a lot of goons. Oh, yes! Shoot your friend! Poor guy. And 
Now you're all going to get hacked and slashed. One down. Two down. Three down. Oh, arrows to uh, ether. I think that um, protected me from an arrow shot. <laughs> We're not going to grab that just yet. But we are going to keep searching for that key. Oh, hello. There we go. That must be where the purple scepter is. That we can use to unlock the purple doors. Sure enough, there it is. There are two purple doors. We're going to want to look at both of them before we continue. Because you never know what the other door might contain. And I probably wanted to drink that that time. We're not long for this level. Hello, guard. Also, this is the last time that I know of that we're going to see human enemies. It's going to get different from here on out. So in here... Is the ominous room of ominousness. I don't know what the skull thing is, but I found a sword lying against it. Okay. It looks older than even the dungeon walls themselves. It's different to anything else I've seen. Okay. I better take it with me to keep it safe. This place doesn't feel right. There's probably a good reason why that skull is bound in chains. There's probably a good reason why that sword was left there too as well, Maggie, but uh, we might never know that one. Hey, you're dead. Oh, another one. No. No. I will not let you stabbeth me. Also, let's go see what that other room is. Ooh. I like this room. <laughs> yep. They can also get killed by the traps. And in fact, they are blocking the trap at present with their bodies. Well done. I wonder if I could actually uh, get to 100 gold from these. Oh, don't knock that over. We might need that. We might need that. Did I hear another guard? No. Let us uh, make good on our efforts to escape. Which, unfortunately, requires us to touch... That definitely was a guard. That's two guards. Three... Four guards! Oh, I'm definitely going to see if I can activate the 100 gold uh, pedestal now. Yep, I've got a lot of gold here. Some of it with holes in it, some of it not. 96. I am like four gold off. Hmm. Oh, there are some guards. They should provide me with the gold I need. That's two. Hey! Give me your gold! Excellent. Now I just need to find that fountain. It was somewhere. I'll go find it. And then we'll escape. Or we'll try to escape. We might actually not succeed in escaping. There we go! A hundred gold gets me... Whoa! You could just kill people! I think there's a small chance just to kill people outright. Let's touch the skull. Nothing bad ever happened from touching a skull. Except this. Folks, we've just unleashed some crazy undead stuff. Something indeed does not feel right. Do you want to know what doesn't feel right? The invasion of dead people. We need to flee. Not much can be gained from killing them. So we should just run while we can. We have to get... Ow! We have to get to the exit. You ought to use all of your daring and cunning. And probably a bit of luck. Yep. Sorry about that. Just had a bit of a uh, problem there. I'm still running. And here comes a big and nasty creature. You see that? That is a golem. We can fight it. We don't have to fight it. But I'm going to try. Because if you kill it, you get some rewards. Indeed. Did you see that big coin we just got? Big prizes. And a big 
running away. Because it smashed down that door. We'll get escape orders, which lets us run backwards faster. And we'll also get the one I wanted, which is basically Critical Strike. Ah, dearie me. Let's head out. But first, we have to knock over this fire. We like fire. Oh, and I managed to set myself on fire, which is handy. I think I get put out, though, in between this level and the next. Who knows? Who knows? But we're ascending to the next level. Yeah, we're not descending. We're escaping. So we're ascending. Ascending to the next level. Ascending, ascending, climbing up. Ascend. Save your coins for a rainy day. We don't know if it's raining. We're in a dungeon, remember? This is level four. Notice it's called Awkward Silences. There are orcs here, and it's temply. And it's not just orcs. What on earth did you just do? Nothing. I narrowly missed having my ankle bitten off by one of those. Oh well. Thankfully I have this sword to fight them off. I suppose it's not really killing people if they're already dead. Yeah. Anyway, we made it. Well, kind of. Kind of. I think we're on the surface, but nothing like what I'm familiar with. Yep. Certainly doesn't look like home. I'm gonna try and find a way out into the open. Don't get lost. Oh, I'll try not to. Because there's something alright. There is an Indiana Jones trap. Avoid it. And also, here is a stone golem. I'm not a fan of him. And there's an orc! How you doing? He's dead, that's what he's doing. Can you, uh... Just, uh, come around here, would you? I just want you to get on this side. So I can steal this money and flee from you. Because you're terrifying. Also, there are, um, there are dart traps in the walls. There are orcs. They're pretty similar to the other ones, but they are tougher. I think it's still following me, isn't it? I don't want to actually wait and find out. Ow! The orcs are tougher. There's more of them. You need to be careful. Also, that execution skill. Very handy. Glad I put the money into that. Okay, here's a tree. I don't think it serves any purpose. But we'll... Hello, orc! Do you see all your dead friends around you? You might not want to have picked a fight with me, I'm afraid. The style of the, uh, the characters is quite endearing, really. What happens if I hit this? I'm curious. Hmm. I don't have an incantation. That's awkward. Hello. You are an orc. And I am your death. Welcome to your doom. Hmm. Oh, you can just avoid them by jumping like that, eh? Hello! Aha! Thou art deaded. I'm looking for the exit, just like I was before. Ow. I'm also looking for cool things. Not necessarily a tree. Trees are not cool. Ow! ow. Those things keep firing, don't they? I used to have health. It used to be a nice thing. This is the e Is this the exit? Yes! We should probably, um, finish exploring this level before we go down it, though. Ow! I should probably stop getting myself hit by arrows as well! But, there you go. We also have nearly a hundred gold. We could buy another awesome enchant. From this! Wow, that... That skill is amazing! I'm buying another one, what have we got? Bone Crusher! Are we going to have to fight more skeletons? We're going to fight more skeletons. This is something I know, because I've got to the level where we encounter them again. There are indeed more skeletons. Being able to kill them, pretty useful. Is that a coin? That's a coin. 
The orcs are not much smarter than the humans when it comes to falling into the traps of their own devising, though. They'll just, uh, catapult themselves helplessly into them. Like anyone else. I think, however, we are done on this level. And I just attracted the ire of the stompy, stompy thing. I don't actually know what that's for. If I wanted to guess, I'd say it was for the incantation for that uh, exit, but... Ow, see, triggered that. I don't have the money for this, and we're going to move on to the next floor, next video. So I'll catch you later, folks. I'll see you then. Later. Gerald's not doing too badly so far. It's all going to get worse, though.